fellow student Jules Knight from classical boy band Blake met William and Kate at university. Will and Kate were in St Salvatore's Hall, um, which was one of the best halls to be in, actually, because it was kind of in the centre of town. It wasn't uh, what you'd call plush or five-star accommodation. Um, it, you know, it was reasonably comfortable. His father, actually, when he visited before William arrived, tested the bed by bouncing up and down on it and seemed to be satisfied. They were within a group of friends of about sort of seven or eight people. Kate wasn't famous then. Um, it sort of Will, Will was famous and, and Kate was one of us. I actually went bright red when I met you and sort of scuttled off, feeling very shy about, about meeting you. But um, it did take a bit of time for us to get to know each other. Kate looked fantastic. She looked a million dollars and I think people did think, wow, you know, that's... Because Kate's quite... Is, she's quite a shy girl, really. But I think that was a, a moment of showing her self-confidence. Um, and hey, you know, she, she's, she's got the body and the looks for it, so why not? But, you know, I think it's, it's sort of easy to look back and think, you know, that moment. I mean, obviously at the time, it wasn't really that moment to us. It was just like one of your friends up there and obviously Kate has become the most famous woman in the world and so extra significance has been put on this moment. I lived in 11 Hope Street and, and Will, Will and Kate were in 13. The people they lived with were very close friends of mine and so we, we were always in and out of one another's houses because actually, again, there wasn't that much to do and so you, you'd have a lot of dinner parties and tea and lunch and all that kind of stuff. Actually, you did cook for me quite a bit at university and it would always come with a bit of angst and a bit of anger if something had gone wrong and I'd have to um, wander in and save, save something that was g going. I would, I would say I'm getting better cooking. Um, Kate would say I'm getting a lot worse. I didn't give you enough chance to practice though, maybe. No, that is true. I get quite, uh, quite lazy about cooking because, you know, when I come back from work and stuff, it's the last thing I want to do really, is spend a little time cooking. But when I was um, trying to impress Kate, um, I was trying to cook these amazing fancy dinners. It just sort of, it sort of blossomed from there really. We just saw more of each other, and, you know, hung out a bit more and, and did stuff. So, um, yeah. Their friendship grew, obviously, from uh, uh, you know being great mates into a, a romantic relationship. Graduation day. That's really when the, the bubble burst for us. Um, I remember very distinctly walking out of my graduation ceremony. And it was just a sort of bank of photographers, 150, 200 photographers all taking photos. And I think, you know, they did uh, go up to some students and say, oh, well, I'll clear your student debt if you sell your stories or whatever. 